Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 2 under the topic steady state error. And the problem is for servo mechanisms with open loop transfer function given below, explain what type of input signal give rise to a constant steady state error and calculate their values. Here, what type of input signal? We should find what is the type of input signal which we need to give. So what are all the different types of input signal we know? Step signal, ramp signal, parabolic signal and impulse signal. Right. So we have to calculate, we have to find what is the type of input signal we need to give to that particular given system to produce a steady state error. Right. And finally we have to calculate what is the value of the steady state error. Right. So our first problem is g of s is equal to 20 s plus 2 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 3. So this is our given open loop transfer function. Right. Since here the type of feedback is not given, we have to assume by ourselves as unity feedback. So the type of feedback for this transfer function is unity feedback. Right. So the first thing is we are assuming the type of feedback as unity feedback. So the feedback is represented by H of S. So H of S is equal to 1 here. Right. Next, when you look at the problem, can you tell what is the type number here? You see here there is an S with the power 1. So the type number of the system is 1 here. Right. So the next step is we have to find the type number. So for a system with type number 1, what is the input signal that gives steady state error? It is nothing but our ramp input. Right. So for ramp, whenever a ramp input is given to a type number 1 system, then it will produce a steady state error. Right. So the steady state error is given by 1 by kV because only for a ramp input we can get a steady state error for type number 1 systems. So ESS is nothing but 1 by kV. Then what is the formula for kV? So kV is given as limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s. So this is the formula. So s into g of s, g of s is given in the problem. So just substitute the value here and the value of h of s is found to be 1 because it is a unity feedback system. So here you see both these s cancel each other and the remaining term is we will be having this these terms. The next step is we have to substitute the value of s as 0 here. So when you substitute the value of S as 0, so 20 into 0 plus 2, so 0 plus 1, 0 plus 3. So finally 0 plus 2 becomes 2, so we will be having 20 into 2 divided by, you see here I am having 1, here it is 3, so 1 into 3 is 3. So finally the value of KV is 40 by 3. But what we are asked to find, we are asked to find the value of steady state error. So the steady state error is given by the formula 1 by kV. We know the value of kV here 40 by 3. So just substitute the values. And again the finally when you solve you are getting the answer as 0.075. Right. So this is the first part of our problem. This problem gets over here. Next we move to our second part. So this is our second problem. Again we have to find what is the type of input that gives steady state error to this type of system. So first analyze what is the type number. Here there is no S term. Right. There is no individual S term in the denominator. Therefore the type number is 0. So therefore for system with type number 0 the step input will give steady state error. Right. So finally the steady state error formula is given as ESS is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus KP. So what is the formula for KP? It is given as limit S tends to 0 G of S into H of S. Again the feedback is not mentioned here. So we have to assume it as unity feedback. Just substitute the values here. When you substitute the values limit S tends to 0. This is your G of S value and this is your H of S value. Right. Once when you substitute the value of s equal to 0, here this expression reduces like this. Okay, 10 divided by 2 into 3. When you solve this expression, you are having the value of kp as 5 by 3. Right. 
Next, we have to calculate steady state error. So, what is the formula for steady state error? It is given by 1 divided by 1 plus Kp. So, we know the value of Kp. So, just substitute the value here. Once you substitute the value, the next step is you have to take the LCM. So, 1 into 3 becomes 3 here. So, 3 plus 5 divided by 3. So, this gives the answer as 8 by 3. Once you move this 8 by 3 to the numerator part, it becomes 3 by 8. And finally, the value of steady state error is 0 0.375. So, this is the end of your second part. We are going to solve our third part of the problem. So, this is our third problem. So, what is the type number here? Here we are having an individual yes with the power 2. Therefore, the type number of the system is given as 2 here. So, for a system with type number 2, what is the input that should be given? We have to give parabolic input, right? This parabolic input is otherwise known as acceleration input. So, what is the value of steady state error? The value of steady state error is given as 1 by Ka. What is the formula for Ka? Ka is nothing but limit S tends to 0, S square into G of S into H of S. So, therefore, just substitute the value of G of S here. When you substitute the value here, this S square and this square, this S square cancels each other and finally, we will be having 10 by S plus 1 into S plus 2. So, the next step is we have to substitute the value of S as 0. So, when you substitute the value here, you see 10 divided by 0 plus 1 into 0 plus 2. Finally, 10 by 2 which is nothing but 5. So, this is the value of your Ka. So, what is the value of steady state error? The steady state error is given by the formula 1 by Ka. So, just substitute the value of Ka here, 1 by 5. And finally, the value of steady state error is found to be 0.2, right? Hope you people understand these problems well. Thank you.